Hey guys, Rolando Rodriguez here with xgains.com. We've got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. So I'm in the kitchen today, uh, gonna make a recipe that my wife actually did when she did the ketogenic egg fast with me because she's not about only eating scrambled eggs on a every day, every meal basis, which I'm fine with, but a lot of people aren't. And to be honest with you, when I had this, it really was a game changer in terms of making the ketogenic egg fast a little bit easier for me. The ingredients that you see here is all you're gonna need, which are eggs. This is some minced, minced garlic, water, I personally use cheddar cheese, my wife does not. Olive oil, and then you could throw in, if you wanted to up your sodium, uh, chicken broth in there if you wanted to. Uh, I personally am not gonna do it. I've had it with like that before, and it was actually pretty good, but I'm not gonna do it this time around. The recipe that we're gonna be making today is actually sort of my wife's take on a Cuban recipe that her mom made when she was growing up, and her mom used to call it agua sucia, which translated into English is dirty water. Uh, I think the original recipe had some potatoes along with eggs in it, but we're getting rid of the potatoes because this is the keto egg diet, right? So no potatoes. So what you're going to need to do first is heat up the pot and you're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil, maybe a little more, to really coat the bottom of the pan. I think that was a little more. My wife's behind the camera. Should I put more or no? A little bit. A little bit more. Guys, I do not cook. Uh, my wife does. But in this recipe, there's no butter, so the fat's really going to be coming from the egg and the olive oil. You're going to add two heaping tablespoons of garlic. And I'm going to utilize this thing. Go up. Can I put it in? And I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit because I don't want this stuff to burn. And you're going to give it a little stir. And I should probably be wearing a, an apron, but I'm not. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add the water now because we don't want the garlic to burn and or the olive oil. Now I'm going to turn the heat back up because we want this to come to a boil. While we're waiting for that to come to a boil, I'm going to crack the eggs into the bowl. And just so you guys know, I do one egg per cup of water. So we're going to have six cups of water today. So I'm going to have six eggs. Now the eggs, you're going to want to lightly beat them. You don't want to completely scramble the eggs, but you do want to lightly beat them. Is that the correct terminology, Jackson? So that's what you want your eggs to look like. While that's boiling, I'm going to talk about the cheese. My wife does not add cheese. I like to add cheddar cheese to it. I just shred it and add it to taste, really. Uh, I think it actually adds a little something to the soup. It does increase the fat and protein content of the soup, so you don't necessarily have to do it. It's just something I like to do. Um, also, in terms of salt, I like my food a lot more salty than my wife. And as you guys know, if you're following a ketogenic diet in general you want to up your sodium intake so I put a lot of salt in there if you hear a baby crying in the background that's uh, hey hey just woke up add salt if you like in our household we don't add the salt because we allow the people to salt it to taste if you want to up your sodium gain you add some chicken broth to the soup and do the same exact thing just add it you know when you add the water and stir and that'll add a little more sodium plus flavor to the soup. I don't really season it with anything other than salt and I think it tastes delicious. I can hear this almost wanting to start to boil so I'm not going to watch it because we know we shouldn't. Uh, as soon as it starts to boil we'll give it a little stir and pour the eggs in there as we stir to sort of poach them sort of Jack them. Yes. So give it a stir and as it stirs pour the eggs in there and you saw it splatter because I'm not a cook. It always splatters. It always splatters, says Ella. And that's what you got. And then go ahead and turn the heat off. And you're done. 
and the amount of time it takes water to boil, you got yourself a pretty good meal in my opinion. And if you want more eggs, put more eggs in there. But I actually like the broth with the garlic and the salt. So remember, salt this to taste. You wanna add some chicken broth or chicken boil on, add the broth when you add the water, add the boil on early so it can dissolve. I guess you could spice it with whatever spices you like, but pretty much I just use salt and call it a day. That's it for now. This is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. Please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't done so already. I'd greatly appreciate it. The website again is x dash. That's the symbol, not the word, gains.com. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Come here. Peace.